Hello guys, it's Shiny Polaris. Again, I apologize so much. It's been probably over a month since I posted my last video. Uh, so basically, this whole uh, month it was just jam-packed with stuff I had to do, so I couldn't have time to make video. First, I went to Walker Stocker Con Chicago, which I'll be talking in this uh, talking about in this video. Then I went back overseas to uh, visit my family. And then immediately after that, I went to Project Cost Awesome in Indiana. And the time in between was making cosplays for Indiana and finish uh, my C2E2 uh, cosplay crown. Which, by the way, if you guys didn't know, I applied for that and I actually got in. So, um, again, I don't expect to win. I'm just happy to be picked and to be uh, walked on stage. So, if you guys see me as C2E2 in my Nightmare Moon cosplay, come along, say hi, take a picture, whatnot. So I want to talk about Walker Stalker Con uh, Chicago. I know it's been a month since it happened, but it was probably one of the the best times I had for such a small con. So first, I'm going to show you what I what I got there. So uh, Walker Stalker uh, Con in Chicago it happened on February 21st and 22nd, and uh, of course, like I said before, I always got the VIP pass. If if I can afford VIP pass at any con, do it because the the perks are really good. Once again, especially for Walker Stalker. If you get a VIP pass, even just the uh, the cheapest one, which is this one, uh, you get uh, you get first in or um, priority in all the lines for the autographs and photos, priority seating in uh, panels, which is you know really important because you don't want to because you don't want to spend like all day in in line for like four or five hours. You already lost your day, so this is totally worth it. And it's 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 a whole weekend pass. It's really not that much more than than uh, the regular. Uh, I think just a general mission three-day pass. I think was like maybe seventy. Uh, this was a uh, one fifty. So yeah, I know Ugh, double, but to me, it's totally worth it. So um, with that, I had I had a shirt. I don't know where it is right now, but here's the here's the poster for it, right there, and then here is the the guide for it. And that's the back. So I I will say I know it's not. I love Walker Stalker Con. I love the guys. Um, that run it uh just this year chicago was was pretty was pretty bad i mean i then let me just say why it was it happened in navy pier um instead of rosemont uh you know rosemont is is a place for conventions so it's in the open area by the airport uh lots of um lots of space lots of hotels around there and um uh, the convention center is huge. Navy Pier is an absolutely beautiful place, but it's, yeah, they have a huge ballroom at the back, but it's so hard to go through the whole pier to get to the end of that. So there was a lot of tight spaces. Um, it was also a weekend of Mardi Gras, so you see a lot of people trying to party at Navy Pier. Um, and it was just, it was so cold that day. So if it was, let's say, in the summer, maybe it would be better because you can walk on the pier. But, uh, but, since it was dead of winter, it was like negative 30 out, we had to walk inside. And it was just, you know, it was just too many people in there. Because if you don't know Navy Pier, there's a lot of there's a lot of restaurants in there and a lot of shopping. It's really, really a tourist place. So there's a lot of stuff going on for tourists. And uh, it's, when you have a convention mixed in there, it's just a lot of confusion. I mean, such a fire hazard. But again, you know, no, nothing against Walker Stock. I'm just saying next year, bring it back to Rosemont if you know what you're doing. Uh, another really sad thing about this year was a lot of the guests canceled and uh, a lot of them, I'm going to say half of them canceled. So um, so people that, you know, really came there to buy a ticket to see, you know, Denai or Dave Morrissey or, you know, for me, since I already met a lot of these people, I wanted to see uh, the Lost uh, people. They all they all did not make it. So, um, so but regardless of that, it was probably second best to my time in Atlanta uh, because I went with a bunch of my friends uh, from We Are Cosplay and we did an amazing Walking Dead group. You know, shout out to Jenny who, who had um, this idea. Uh, so it was six of us, originally supposed to be seven. Um, and we, we basically did the Walking Dead uh, cast from the comic books, not not the from the show, and we did it cell shading style, which is like the cartoon, uh, comic book style in black and white. So I will I will post a couple of pictures at the end, kind of slideshow it, so you can know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, go on my Instagram, Shining Polaris, and you will see the the photos on there. So, just in case you want to know what I'm talking about, uh, I'm going to show you just part of my uh, costume. Again, I went as Rosita, and uh, here is my um, my shirt. I mean, basically, this this it looks it may look easy at first, but 
this took me so long because I had to paint everything. I painted the whole thing. And then you wanted to paint it so it looks like a 2D. So that's my shirt. And then there's my, my booty shorts. And then uh, my, my goggles. So like I said, it was, it was such an amazing concept. And we all, we all took the time to, to paint our outfits and to paint our, our bodies. And then, um, and then we helped each other to paint our face uh, black, white, and gray. So it was just so amazing. Um, again, if you look at my um, Instagram, I'll try to post some here. Uh, we basically met just about every celebrity there. And it, it, the, it, they just absolutely loved it. I think the best, which is my, um, if you go on my Twitter, same Shine Polaris, my cover photo, is what, us with uh, Greg Nicotero. He was probably the most excited <laughs> to, to, to see us. Like he actually like took us to the side and we had like a little, a little, you know, private shoe with him. It was, it was just amazing how, how awesome it was. And, um, and even like a whole bunch of media outlets, you know, they, they posted our picture on their blogs, on their forums. It was, it was just so cool. So I can't, I can't ex ex explain how excited I was. Um, I know Walker Stalker is a small con. Um, so if you guys uh, miss, missed our cosplay, we're going to do it again at C2E2 for Friday. And we're going to have about 10 people. So we're going to add about three or four more people to our group. So seriously, you will notice us when you see us. Come along, take pictures. I believe we may do some promotional work for C2E2 as well. So hopefully that's going to give us more <laughs> more coverage because we just want everyone to see see our idea because I think it's it's just so cool. So all right, so I'm going to cut it off here and we'll end it with a couple of um, uh, photos at the end so you can see what I'm talking about. But if uh, if you want to see the full full photos. Uh, check it out on my Instagram. So, all right. So that's uh, my review, I guess you could say, my uh, preview of my costume for C um, for Walker Stalker Chicago. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And I will uh, see you next time at C2E2. All right. Thank you.